Hey guys, it's Darn Ridgely here with That Darn Realtors team in Chattanooga. We're at our Keller Williams office in downtown Chattanooga today and we wanted to talk about five things you need to know before you start your home search. This is before you've even really, you know, this could be two years before you actually buy a house. So if you watch the following five videos, we've done a series of five that talk about knowing your budget, knowing yourself, knowing your spouse, knowing what the reality is, and knowing your dream. So watch the next five videos to find how each one of those fits into this, this home search process. Yes. Today we're going to talk about, this is part one of the five part series, what you need to know before you start your home search. So these are five things you need to know before you start your home search. The first thing you need to know is know your budget. Okay, and what I mean by that is you need to factor in everything that's going to cost you on a monthly basis for this house and know how much you can afford given your finances. That way you know what to search for. If you go to a mortgage officer, you're going to find out if this house costs this much, has this much taxes, and is likely to cost you this much in insurance. This is what your mortgage ins mortgage insurance, you know, your mortgage payment will be. That's going to be interest in principal, taxes, and insurance. There, from there, you can go to the house you're looking at and find out what the average utilities are. And then you can look at your monthly budget, what you bring in, and make sure that you're not going to be in a bad situation when you buy this house and you're going to be house broke to where all you can do is pay for this house and barely afford that. And then you have a, end up having a miserable life. So, first of all, your mortgage person is going to tell you based on your monthly um, income and debt, your debt to income ratio, and your credit score, what you can actually buy. That's going to help determine what houses you can be looking at. And that's going to be the perfect place to start. So, the first thing you need to know. Know thy budget before you start your home search. The second thing we want you to know is we want you to know thyself. That sounds really simple, but we work with people all the time who really don't realize yet what they want until they start looking at homes. So start to look at your lifestyle, the things that you enjoy, the things you want to get out of your home, and really know what you want before you start your search. Because there's going to be so many houses you walk in and you didn't even realize that having a workshop in the basement was imperative to what you wanted to do. Or you didn't realize that having a big back deck was very important and you could have eliminated this house that when you get there you just go, you know, something doesn't feel right. I don't, I don't know what it is, but something, this is missing something. Start identifying those things that you really want and need out of your house. You know, if it's, the, if it's the storage shed in the backyard, if it's the back deck, if it's the basement where you can add on later, if it's um, this size master. Know the things that are just over the top important to you. Know yourself well enough to know what you absolutely have to have. And it's going to make your home search process so much more enjoyable and so much easier and so much more effective. That way when you get with your realtor, all you got to do is say, look buddy, this is what I'm looking for. Find it for me. This is my budget. This is what I need. Go find my house. And then the realtor can take that information, do a great job for you, and in a very quick time find the perfect house for you. And we're talking about the five things you need to know before you start searching for your home. We talked about knowing your budget, about knowing yourself, and this, really, we probably should have put this up at number two. You've got to know your spouse, and your spouse has to know you, okay? We get to so many houses with, with, uh, with, uh, with buyers, and one person walks in, loves the house, the other walks in and goes... Let's leave now. Get back in the car. And then there's this conflict and these hard feelings. And that's really that can be really hard to come back. And oftentimes, that'll stall the buying process, the searching process, a good two weeks until we get all that worked out. Okay, what are we going to give on? What are we going to take on? You know, sometimes we work with a situation where one, one partner wants to move in the house right away and it be moving ready. But the other wants a lot of equity and wants to buy something that a little bit elbow grease uh, can add a lot of equity to the situation. Those aren't the same thing. You can't get both of those at the same time. That's an impossible situation, and we'll never find the house for you if that's what we're looking for. So to really help your realtor out and to make the search situation as effective as possible and as stress-free as possible, you really need to be communicating and discussing with each other. What are the things that are most important? You know, is, is this entertainment space more important than having the space to have a workshop? Is... You know, the kitchen more important or is the living room more important? Or do you really want that huge master room? Is having a, a media room really important? What is it that's important to both of you or one of you? What are the things that you're not willing to budge on? And what are the things that you're willing to do, you know, have a concession on? Have those discussions before you really start to look at houses. And it'll save a lot of trouble and a lot of stress in that search process. Because I promise you, there's nothing worse than going and finding that house where one person thinks it's perfect and the other would just rather, you know, forget about that house altogether. So knowing each other and having those discussions before you ever start the search process is a great way 
to find the perfect home quickly and make sure that there's as little stress as possible during the search process and no fighting between you while you're doing the search. And now we're going to talk a little bit about you know knowing reality. Uh, one of the top things that we struggle with when, when, when we are helping our buyers is don't go look at a $150,000 house if, you're, if your budget is topped out at $125,000. I know that it is still a buyer's market, but here in Chattanooga, things are actually moving pretty well, and it, we're not nearly as bad off as a lot of other areas in the country. And so our list price to sell price ratio is still about 94%, meaning that the people that are selling their houses are getting within 6% of what they're asking. So you're not going to find a $150,000 house that someone's willing to shave $30,000 off. A lot of times they simply can't. You know, they owe the bank X amount of money, and that's what they've got to get in order to sell their home. And so it's unrealistic to expect a lot of these houses to take a $30,000, $40,000 haircut on the, cost, on the list price of their home. So, and you know, it's like anything else. Um, there's two dangers to that. If you go look at a bunch of $150,000 houses and the top of your loan limit's one twenty-five, one, you're going to look at a bunch of houses that you won't be able to make the offer that'll buy that house. But two, those $150,000 houses have some things that the houses that we're going to end up looking at in the one twenty-five range aren't going to have. And that's going to end up jading your home search because I think you're going to end up expecting those same amenities. And that's going to make the process harder, <clears throat> harder on you. Um, so really, you got to know reality. Know what's realistic. Know your market. Uh, talk to your realtor. It is your realtor's job to tell you what's going on in your market. If you're not getting that, you really need to look for another realtor. Um, so be realistic, and that way you have realistic expectations of what you're going to find, and it makes that whole process much more comfortable for you. So uh, if you're not getting, like I said, if you're not getting that from your realtor, I can't tell you enough how much you, that is one of the key things that they can help you, is they can give you a true shot of what's really going on in the market and what reality is right now. Now we're going to turn right back around and we want you to know your dream. Um, remember, this home is where you're going to be for the next 7 to 10 years, okay? you got to know what your dream really is. And at the same time, while we caution you on being realistic, you still have a dream of what you really want. And it's our job to provide that. But if you don't know what your dream is, we can't provide that. But as long as you know what you're really dreaming about, dream big and ask us, is this realistic? Does it fit in my budget? But this is what my I and my spouse want. This is our dream. Can you make it work within reality, within our budget? Can you find this? And your realtor's going to come back to you and they're going to say, well, here's the things that we can do. Here's the properties I found that I think come really close. We like to tell people that we, we find them the 90% house. It's a 9 on a scale of 1 to 10. It's a 9 because we really don't believe the 10 exists. There's always something small that you're going, well, this isn't perfect, but I can live with this. So know your dream. Know the things that you simply can't live without. And then turn it over to your realtor and say, look, this is what you got to find me. What can we do? And you'll be surprised at how often that comes out and you can turn around and we can find you your dream home. So know your dream and we'll help you find that dream.